The European Commissioner said fisheries was a difficult area for the Brexit negotiations and that some European Union countries did not necessarily agree with the UK's position, Phil Hogan, the European Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development told BBC Radio 4 Today, I'm not the Commissioner for Fisheries but certainly as you can see in recent times, it is a very difficult area around where promises were made before the EU referendum. You can see the UK government and the EU are having difficulty reaching an agreement of how we have a more benign scheme for fisheries. The UK struck a provisional deal with the EU in March, on the terms of the transitional period starting from March 2019. According to the deal, there will be no change to the UK's fisheries policy until after 2020, despite previous promises of immediate control next year. Getty EU Commissioner Phil Hogan hinted that fisheries could be sacrificed in return for EU trade deal You can see the UK government and the EU are having difficulty reaching an agreement of how we have a more benign regime for fisheries EU Commissioner Phil Hogan Mr Hogan said, fisheries will be a very critical part of the deal and Michel Barnier has been in Denmark recently discussing these issues with the Danish fishermen. Ireland, where, I am from myself have 36% of our fishing stocks caught in non-Irish waters. So you can see already in those two countries, which are small countries but very important in terms of fisheries and they would have a different view than the United Kingdom's on this issue. Earlier this year, EU chief negotiator Mr Barnier repeatedly insisted the UK cannot choose to keep the best elements of membership when it quits the bloc. Mr Hogan also insisted that the UK would continue to pay into the agriculture budget during the transitional period. He said, you are going to be involved with agricultural policy during the transitional period and paying into the policy until 2020. Secretary Gove has said that he is guaranteeing personal income through domestic subsidies until 2024, I understand. So as long as the UK pays into the US budget of agriculture, we will pay out.